some of the old songs. Yes, ma'am. And getting ready for my day, I um, had a really lovely breakfast, as you guys saw. I did my word games, uh, got to play with butters a little bit, but I am going to meet a friend for, I don't know, like breakfast, lunch, basically for coffee. He is in town uh, for a funeral, unfortunately, but uh, this is someone that I used to work with. So was this my last corporate job? Yeah, this was my last corporate job. Uh, I worked alongside with him for a while and then uh, basically I ended up kind of working for him, which was fantastic. We got along really well. Uh, I adore him, obviously. Uh, we're still getting together and it's been 10 or so years. I've talked about him on my channel before. His name is Ivan. He actually has a YouTube channel called Hey Ivan and his channel is dedicated to just like answering everyday sort of tech issues. So nothing too complicated, nothing too advanced. He has this wonderful way of explaining things without making it seem like he's talking down to you, but making it very, very simple to understand. So yeah, he's just got a great channel. He's growing, which is really, really great to see. So anyway, we've been talking about that quite a bit in our communications, just like YouTube in general and content creation. And he still works at the company that I worked at uh, with him. So he's still there. So he's doing YouTube kind of on the side. Anyway, he's in town and uh, he has a little bit of time before uh, the funeral. Uh, again, unfortunately that he has to go to. So we're just gonna hang out a little bit. Uh, so I'm just sort of, you know, getting ready for the day. I've washed and dried my hair. And I feel like it's a hair mask kind of day. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put a hair mask in and then just tie my hair up. I think that'll be more comfortable for me too. I feel like when I wear like a turtleneck or if I have things like high up on my neck, I want my hair up. Otherwise I feel like my hair's getting caught in it and all sorts of stuff. So anyway, I'm gonna do that first. What is this called? The Restructuring Nourishing Balm from Sisley, their hair ritual line. I am almost done with it. And it is fantastic. I love how soft my hair feels afterwards. And I do leave it in for quite some time. I mean, I've started using a hair mask kind of as a styling tool. And I've talked about this before. So I will leave it in like all day. And sometimes I'll put it in and go to the gym and work out. And I was always afraid, you know, I'm a sweater, definitely a head sweater. And so I was always afraid that like my sweat and the mask and everything was just gonna combine and turn into this like gelatinous, disgusting mess, but that's never happened, thankfully. So anyway, I will leave this mask in for quite some time and it will make my hair feel very, very soft, which is hard to do when you've got gray hair. My gray hair isn't terribly wiry. It's just such a different structure from my um, dark brown hair. Anyway, let me, I need to flip over, hang on. Okay, how is this looking? Is it, I got this one piece of hair. There it is. Get in there. My ponies and buns are never perfectly slick. I really don't know how they do that. It must be so tight and they must have, they being like, I don't know, models or whatever, so much product <laughs> in their hair. I really don't know how they do it. Like I have this like little bump here or whatever. Like I just, I can't be bothered. Like this is, it's good enough. It's good enough. Have you guys seen that TikTok? There's this, um, <laughs> there's this girl standing there and she's, you know, slicking back her hair or whatever. And she's like taking breaks. She's putting her arms down cause it's exhausting. 
and her boyfriend is like narrating the whole process. <laughs> He's like, what's going on? Why, why does it have to be so tight? Why do you look so angry right now? <laughs> it's so funny, but I'm like, God, that is so true. That is so true. You just go through this whole emotional roller coaster. You're trying to put your hair up <laughs> like this. Anyway, I am gonna throw some hairspray in because as good as the hair mask is, as a uh, styling product, it's not like, it's, it's not meant to like hold your hair back all day. So I am just gonna spray some of this Orbe Super Fine Strong Hairspray. And voila, okay. It's as, as good as it's gonna get. And oh, let me show you my outfit today. I'm wearing that Prada shirt that I got in Milan. It has the nylon sleeves and then the, the poplin body. Yeah, so the sleeves and the body. And so I thought it'd be perfect to go with this dicky <laughs> that I have from Kaz. It's 100% cashmere, so it's very warm. But since there's no arms, my nylon sleeves kind of stick out here. So it's really kind of a perfect pairing. And then I've got on some tapered wool pants. I think these are from Kaz. I think these are from Kaz. They're either from Kaz or Totem. I will leave them down below. I think these are the Kaz ones. I've got my very old Mimi belt on. This belt is probably, I think I got this belt in like 2008 or 2009. How old does this make this belt? <laughs> like 15 years old. So I have this very old Mimi belt on and then I have my Prada chunky loafers on. Oh, and I thought I would whip out my Prada backpack. And we're just gonna, we're gonna really lean into this black white thing today. <laughs> I definitely need to throw on some makeup today. I'm feeling very January pale, if you know what I'm talking about. I feel very, very pale. So I'm gonna throw on some makeup. And oh, before that, I wanted to show you something that came in. It is so exciting. I've only used it a couple times, but I wanted to show it to you guys, uh, but it's downstairs. So let's head on down there. Oh, hi, Butters. Do you wanna talk about the LED hand perfector with me? People would love to hear from you. <laughs> Not that you need anything, baby. You don't need anything. Hmm? You're perfect. Yes, you are, you sweet baby. Okay, guys, so I have been using this Current Body LED Hand Perfector. I'm laughing because I have pretty much all of their LED devices. I have their LED Eye Perfector, the LED Lip Perfector, and I use these uh, just, you know, if I need like a quick little LED treatment, um, it's a little bit less of a commitment than the full mask. And so sometimes in the mornings, I'll just come straight downstairs and I'm like, oh, let me just throw this on and I'll throw this on when I'm like cooking or whatever. Um, throw, you guys have seen me use this a lot. It looks like a pacifier. Anyway. The LED hand perfector is, as you would guess, for your hands. So I am working with Current Body on this portion of the video, uh, but I wanted to show this device to you because I think the hand is definitely ignored. And I think we spend so much time taking care of our faces, our necks, that the rest of our body <laughs> really suffers. So let me give you the deets on this and let me show you how I use it. Very simple. Okay, so first things first, it uh, uses a USB charger. So the USB plug plugs right into the back of the device. And it does actually come with different outlet plugs in case uh, you know, you're international or you're not in the US, um, but obviously it does come with a US plug. Let me just show you the box that it comes in. So it comes beautifully packaged in this box. Here are all the different plugs that I was just rambling about. And it does also come with a dust bag for storage or if you wanna travel with it, um, it does have that as well. So I really like this packaging because it does make uh, for nice gift giving if that's what you want. So let me go ahead and plug this in. And this is very lightweight. So it's not like this huge monstrous device that um, is too heavy to lug around. It is actually fairly light, which I like because I can put it on my lap, which I've done. Um, anyway, so here is the power button. You wanna just hold this down and then you'll hear the beep and then you'll see the lights come on and the power button turns green. And of course I have all my rings on. So let me take those off and just pull up my sleeves here. And then you just stick your hands in. So I'm just gonna do that. 
stick my hands in. So every cycle is 10 minutes long. I will sit here uh, when I'm reading. I will sit here when my husband is making dinner and I'm just keeping him company. Uh, when I'm watching TV, it is perfect. Like I said, I can throw this onto my lap very, very easily. You just have to have an outlet near you um, to plug it in. And just to give you some details on this LED device. So this does have two clinically proven wavelengths. One is red at 633 nanometers, and the second is near infrared at 830 nanometers. It is FDA approved. And like I mentioned, the cycle is 10 minutes and you should use it every day for four weeks to start to see some differences in your hands. But it has been proven to reduce fine lines and wrinkles, uh, improve firmness, improve the texture, and it'll soften your hands as well. So of course I snagged a coupon code for you guys. So it's Michelle LED, M-I-C-H-E-L-E-L-E-D -E 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 <laughs> for 15% off, not just this hand perfecter, but all current body skincare devices. So as you guys know, I'm a big, big fan. I love the mask. I love the neck and deck mask. I love the um, eye perfector and the lip perfectors. They're just great. They make a world of difference. So I'll leave all that information down below in my description box, including a link to shop. And I have not been using it for four weeks yet, but I am definitely already seeing a difference to the softness of my hands. My hands have been really, really dry. I mean, this actually could not have come at a better time because it's winter time. My hands, not only do they get dry, they get rough. I feel like my cuticles get really, really hard, but they start to crack. And I do live in a very dry climate. And I feel like this is the first winter that I don't have like that split. I always get a, the same split. <laughs> the same split down like my cuticle into my finger and it's so it's like this little thing and it's so painful I feel like this is the first winter that I'm not actually having cracking cuticles and this LED hand perfector is the only difference I've made I'm not the best at applying hand lotion I do when I remember I do at night uh, things like that I do try and take care of my hands but inevitably and it's always after the holidays I think it's when it gets like we're really getting into deep winter here, January, February, early March. It's when my hands really start to go south. So thank you to this LED hand perfector because I, I hate those little cuticle cracks. They are the absolute worst. And this I think has cured them. So anyway, don't forget to check my description box for a link and to use the Michelle LED discount code. So while I'm waiting for the cycle to end here, I thought I would just do a quick little morning ramble with you guys. I started watching Killers of the Flower Moon uh, last night. I couldn't finish it. Not I couldn't finish it, but I didn't finish it because it's so long. <laughs> it's three and a half hours long. Uh, I feel like that's the first thing anyone tells you about that movie. They're like, oh, that movie. Well, it's three and a half hours long. It is a, such a hard subject matter to watch. And all you think about is how evil how evil we can be. Have you guys seen it? It's just so awful. It's so, so awful. <laughs> the story, I haven't gotten to uh, the FBI part. I'm not ruining anything because that is in the description of the movie everywhere, but I haven't gotten to the actual FBI part. I'm just getting through all of the evil and the atrocities and God, Robert, De the acting is so good. Robert De Niro, uh, is her name Lily Gladstone, I think? I think she just won a Golden Globe for her role as a, a lead and Leonardo DiCaprio. I mean, he's of course fantastic. Oh God, it's with like every scene that passes, I just get more and more nauseous. Oh, there, it's done. Ta-da, <laughs> my hands. You're not gonna see a difference, but yeah, I'm really, really, really jazzed that I don't have any cracked cuticles. Such a pleasant result from using this guy. Let's take care of our hands. It's something my mother used to always say. She was like, if you wanna try and guess someone's age, she's like, don't look at their face, look at their hands. <laughs> like, okay, is that a saying? I don't know if that's a saying. I definitely heard that from my mom though. Anyway, it's so great. It's so easy to use every single day too. Like I said, there's just so many times we're just sitting there like watching TV or I read um, my book on my, um, it's my Kindle on my iPad. And so I just have it up and then I'll just, you know, kind of swipe, I'll try and alternate hands, <laughs> but I'll just swipe the pages. It's been a great addition to my skincare device ritual. I think I mentioned in one of my blog posts about goals for 2024 is that I have all of these amazing skincare devices 
and I really want to take advantage of them because I get lazy, but man, have I been reinvigorated by this hand perfector. It prompted me to pull this out and my lip perfector out, and so I've been using them again, so I'm really, really happy. But anyway, I am, wow, I'm cutting it really close. You know what, I was gonna do a whole, like get ready with me situation to go make my friend for coffee, my friend Ivan, but I don't really think I have time. So I think I'm just gonna throw on something quick. I won't bore you with that. It'll probably just be some lip gloss and blush. And then we'll head on over to Makers and Finders. That's where we're meeting in the arts district. Oh, who's just enjoying the fire? Who is just living the best life? Oh, sweet girl. You enjoy the fire, I'll leave that on for you. I came in here on my way to put some makeup on to turn the fireplace off because I've had it on all morning, but Butters is enjoying it. What can I do? I have to leave it on. detour before meeting my friend uh, for uh, for coffee because we were kind of texting a little bit and he ended up renting a car from this it's a little sh a little bit of a shady location but he was like I didn't realize what was going on but anyway he got a really good deal <laughs> for a rental car um, but this car rental was actually not far from where I am so it's pretty far from the airport so anyway I just picked him up from the airport car rental place there's like one with like Hertz Avis you know Enterprise like those places and then they have a shuttle that brings you down here that has like these I don't know I, I, I'll just call them like secondary car rental places so he was waiting for that shuttle bus and so I thought let me just go get you I'll drive you down here and then we can just figure out where to go eat so we may actually just go someplace here because makers and finders is like way far from here and they only have street parking at that particular location. So I, sorry, <laughs> a bird just flew down and scared me. Um, so I don't know. I don't like taking that chance because it's the weekend. It does get very, very busy for, you know, breakfast, brunch, lunch. And I don't want to, I, I just, I hate driving around looking for parking. It just it brings me back to New York. It's like PTSD from New York City. So I think we may just go somewhere around here. I'm thinking Black Bear Diner. I have not been there in a while. And you guys know how much I love bears. So I love Black Bear Diner. Maybe we'll do that. Okay, let me text him because he just went in to go get, go get his car. And I told him, I'm like, I am waiting here until you get your car because... These secondary car rental places look a little unreliable. I'll say that. Well, we made it through that car rental experience. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was crazy. Yeah, this he, is Ivan, hey by guys. the way. <laughs> just just so you know, anything that says easy in the name, they're just trying to convince you that something really is what it isn't. <laughs> easy with an I. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> easy with an I? Are you serious? Yeah. We're not doing that again. Never. No. Never again. Just the biggies. Hertz. I was like, Avis. did you cancel my reservation? I hope you canceled it. They're like, no, we've got a car for you. Darn it. <laughs> so bad. Anyway, since we are a little bit out of where originally we were going to be. Yes. We have ended up at IHOP. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We were going to go to Black Bear. Well, we we're going to go to Makers and Finders. That's too far. Uh, and then we're going to go to Black Bear. That is totally, it was, looked it was, crazy. It was packed. It was packed. So we hopped over here. So we hopped over to IHOP. <laughs> All right, I'm starving. Are you hungry? Yes, I could, right. I could eat. All right, let's hit this. Catch the ambiance here, huh? This is <laughs> here. We are. I have. I do like this. I gotta say, I like their logo. It's very yeah. good. Yeah. It, does it make you happy? It makes me happy. <laughs> Finished up at IHOP. I'm stuffed. <laughs> it was great. It's great. I, what I did love. Did you enjoy? Uh, you, you ordered like what you always order, I right? Ordered, your yeah, regular. The okay. usual. I was like, hey, can the I just usual. get the usual? And they know me. Every IHOP across the United States. <laughs> 
Yeah. I um, I tried their salmon, which was not bad. Huh. I wouldn't have thought of that. I, I think know, at IHOP, right? IHOP, IHOP salmon or... No, pancakes, pancakes. I got pancakes. Yeah. And an omelet. <laughs> yes, and an omelet. The big it steak omelet. With, it looks um, really good. Yeah, it was it was pretty good. I couldn't I couldn't do the whole thing, so I'm leaving some here for next time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, my salmon was overcooked. It was definitely on the dry side, but it was it was edible, and I got a side of broccoli and French fries wow. to balance it out. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And me, I got all the other stuff she didn't get. Yeah. Uh oh, people. <laughs> yeah. So I got all the stuff that she didn't yeah. get. You know, like uh, strawberry topping, hot chocolate. Oh, oh, that's right. You got hot cocoa. Yeah, it was a mix of coffee and He got cocoa. half coffee, half hot cocoa. Yeah. You know, that's how I stay sweet. I would, I would be awake for like five days if I drank that. <laughs> okay. Well, well, good to see you. You too. Yeah, we should do this again. Good to see you guys too. <laughs> Definitely check out Hey Ivan on YouTube for all of your tech needs. Uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> There's another one. He's way cuter than me, but mine has the animated little face on it. Um, find yeah. It. yeah, yeah, you'll see it. Well, I just got back home from that lovely brunch with Ivan, and I just wanted to share with you, what is the name of these? That writing is way too small, but I tried these NARS, they're like a tinted balm. I just tried this for the first time today, I'm embarrassed to say, because they sent me a box, I think of all their shades, and I think if you watched my, um, declutter video, you saw the drawer. I opened it up and I was like, I just haven't been able to try them. Anyway, this is the shade Devotion. And I will, of course, leave down below once I'm able to figure out the name of these. Um, these are great. So soft, so moisturizing. This color I really, really love. I just picked well, I guess. I'm actually gonna look on their site right now because now I can't believe it took me so long to try this product out because I love this. I really love this. I'm going to have to dig through the other colors and stuff, but let me find the proper name for this. I'm on the NARS site, the Afterglow Sensual Shine Lipstick. It's this one right here. And there's 16 shades. I think, yeah, I think they probably sent all of them to me. I love this. I really, really love this. Yeah, Devotion. It's described as a mauve rose. It's shade number 208. That is the one that I'm wearing. I feel so stupid not having tried these sooner, but anyway, just wanted to pass that along to you. And after I left Ivan, I stopped by the UPS store and I got a really interesting PR gift here. So I don't know if you guys caught my haul that I did last Saturday where I talked about the things that I got at Uniqlo and the North Face for my trip to Finland. And so excited, so, so excited for the trip. And the stuff that I got is just a lot of fun. Anyway, I just got a big box from Canada Goose. I'm, I'm like, this feels, this feels very weird, very timely and very weird. But let me find a box cutter and open this up. This is like the most intense coincidence. <laughs> if there's like winter gear in here, I'm gonna be like, the universe, the universe is speaking. Wow. Canada Goose Arctic Program. Hi, Michelle. We hope you love this piece from our recent launch. Your friends at Canada Goose. Wow. It is a puffer. Oh my gosh. Okay. I think this may be a good addition to my trip. Look at this beautiful color. It's like a purpley gray color. Let me share the style info if you're interested. This is the Aurora jacket. It's in moonstone gray and they sent over the extra large and on their thermal experience index, it is a three. So let's see, it's supposed to keep you warm to negative 10 degrees Celsius. What is that? Is that maybe like 16 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, and it has the straps on the inside. I showed this on the North Face jacket that I got. It has these straps. So if you put your arms through them, you can hang the jacket off. Oh, let me try this on. Okay, here is the jacket on. Let me zip it up so you can see. I like this zipper, it's like a matte chrome finish. That's really nice. That zipped up really easily. And then this hood is removable. Can you see the zipper there? So it's removable and then you're left with this high neck, which is really nice. 
So again, this is the size extra large. I've got a lot of room here, but that'll be really nice if I'm wearing like a thick sweater or just like a lot of layers, that'll be really nice. Pockets here that zip up. The pockets are like fleece lined, really, really cozy feeling. There are these inner cuffs here to keep you warm. I love it. I love this moonstone gray color. It's so nice. Oh, I love it. And then here it is with those straps on. So you can wear the jacket like a backpack. So, so nice, especially when you're walking around the city and you're like in and out of stores and you're broiling <laughs> and you want to take your jacket off, but you don't want to carry it. This is so great. Oh, I love it. So on the labeling for the jacket, I didn't see that it was water or windproof. Um, so I'm not going to assume that it is, but let's see. It is down filled. It is made in Canada and it is supposed to keep you warm up to negative 10 degrees Celsius. I love it. So I think this jacket may be coming along uh, to Europe with me. I'm so excited. Oh, it's like an inner drawstring. Okay. So that's pretty, yeah, it's right at the waist. Oh, nice. So I can cinch that up if it's kind of feeling a little bit too drafty. And then there is an inner pocket here. Yeah, so if I wanna kind of throw some things like ID or whatever in here, that'll be nice. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much, Canada Goose. What a lovely and very timely surprise. Good evening. Just your friendly neighborhood weirdo coming at you with, <laughs> with all of the LED masks on. I've got the face mask and the neck and deck on right now. Anyway, I thought I would close out this vlog while I am using my LED masks and just remind you to use Michelle LED, the code to save 15% off all current body skincare devices. Um, I'll leave a link down below in my description box. Oh, I also wanted to mention we just finished watching Killers of the Flower Moon. What a devastating story. It's just awful. There's no, I mean, I guess you could say there's a quote unquote happy ending because uh, the ringleader is put behind bars. I hope I'm not ruining anything. This is all based on a true story. So I feel like I'm, how could you uh, ruin it? It's just, ugh. I don't even think the word sobering is quite right for this movie. It just is a real like, it's just a real feel bad kind of movie. Um, but the acting was great. And while I appreciated the movie, I appreciated this, the telling of this story, which needs to have been told. I just don't think it needed to be three and a half hours. I really don't. I think it would have been a much better movie if it was two, two and a half hours even, which I, I still think is pushing it. But three and a half? I feel like all we're doing is releasing director's cuts. Like we're not even going for the everyday cinema cut and then releasing the director's cut as some sort of special <laughs> surprise. I think all we're doing nowadays is just releasing the director's cut. Anyway, I digress. It is a good movie, very good movie. I think Butters and I are going to uh, read a few pages of my book before I pass out. It's taken me forever to finish this last book that I'm on. Um, I think I told you guys about this because I was done with my Karen Slaughter books and I started this book about an FBI profiler. It's just taking me forever to finish. It's not that deep of a book, you know, it's a, it's a page turner. But yeah, I think I'm getting close to the end. And then I'm changing it up. I'm gonna read a different type of book, you guys. I am. Okay. <laughs> Now I'm just rambling. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you had a lovely day and a lovely evening and I will see you in the next one. Bye.